Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well I'm so grateful to announce bitch you have found me. So grab a snack and a drink and hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. Best friend, before we get into this Benny Blanco mess, um, I am having a Christmas holiday uh, giveaway. I'm choosing 10 of you guys to have a phone call or video call of your choice. Um, all you have to do is follow three simple steps. Go to my community tab and you will find those three simple steps. It's very easy. It's just make sure you, you are following me and note and your notifications are on. Subscribe to my husband's YouTube channel and comment done in my community tab. That's it. So enter now. The winners will be announced on the 20th. And I'm so excited because there come some surprises in each phone call. So you will not want to miss it. Um, okay, best friends. So listen, we got to talk about Mr. Benny Blanco because ever since the whole Selena Gomez, Benny Blanco announcement was announced to the damn world, girl, which I will tell you something, bitch. I was very surprised. When I woke up, it was a day after I arrived from visiting my mom in Colombia. <laughs> And all I remember is waking up and I'm just like, you know, I'm a little jet lagged, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired, this and that. And then I see Selena Gomez going off in all the comments and I'm like, girl, what? I was like, oh, first of all, who's Betty Blanco? And what is happening, bitch? You know, I was excited for her. I was like, yes, Selena, yes, she has that holiday, you know, man. And then I thought to myself, I was like, oh my Lord. Then I started reading the comments. Like, it's been a whirlwind, bitch. Like, I feel like we're, we all have jet lag from, the, from that day. Um, but listen, ever since she announced it, I mean, Benny Blanco, I, I've explained it in, in, in a lot of videos. He's a really big writer, music producer, etc. He's he's done songs like Diamonds, California Girls with Katy Perry, um, Lonely, Justin Bieber. I mean, he's done them all, okay? He's done Circus by Britney Spears, Selena Gomez. He's worked with everybody. Huge, 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 huge hits. He has a net worth of over $50 million. So he's not doing too bad for himself, right? But he is one of those, you know, celebrity. I mean, he, I don't even think he's a celebrity. I would just think he's, you know, like a... He's in the music industry, okay? I would put it like that. But listen, you guys, his life on social media, girl, it has changed, girl. Because listen, before Selena, he would get about like a hundred something new followers, you know? He would lose like 200 a day. He would gain maybe a hundred something. He would gain like 84. That's it. I mean, that's it, you know? That, that's pretty much it. He has, he has, um, he has 1 million followers, you know, Selena, go, I mean, she's the highest followed uh, woman in the world and she's the third most followed person in the world. So, I mean, it's a very big difference. Ever since he, uh, uh, Selena Gomez announced this, uh, well, this alleged relationship, Friday, the day of, he gained 35,000, Saturday, he gained 18,000. Sunday, he gained 9,000. Monday, he gained almost 6,000. And today, Tuesday, he's gained almost 4,000. So that's almost 68,000, almost 70,000 new followers because of this. And they're not even like confirmed, confirmed. Because if you guys know, yes, she went off on the comments where everyone thought she was being hacked. And second, you know, I mean, there's not really like huge like pictures like it. There's not, you know, he hasn't really done an announcement either on his social media and really neither has she. She is wearing the B uh, ring, but that's about it, you guys. So I'm very like, I'm very in shock. I'm very, uh, you know, I, I think that dating somebody like Selena Gomez, I feel like Benny Blanco has definitely had like, you know, he's, he's been, he's been very successful, but he's, he's been under the radar. You know, he's friends with all the celebrities, Paris Hilton. He's friends with everybody, even the Beepers. Um, but now that he is thrown into this, I mean, he is dating one of the most famous, you know, people in the world, the third most followed person on Instagram. You know what I mean? I mean, there's a lot, his life is about to change. It's sort of like Travis and Taylor, you know, his, yes, he was famous before and he was a he's a sports person, but he wasn't this hugely known, right? And 
you know, their life does change. It comes with security. It comes with, you know, uh, plan A, plan B, plan C to be able to go from one, you know, location to the other. You know, you have to amp up your security. You have to amp up your, your inner circle. You have to do the NDAs. I mean, it, it, it does change a lot. You know, it's sort of like, it's sort of like Princess Diaries. You know what I mean? It's like, you're now associated to someone so big, right? You have to like, your life does change. And my question is, you know, Benny Blanco, now he is probably going to be getting a lot more, you know, work. He's probably, his, his followers are probably going to keep going up, you know? And what does this mean for his day to day? Because, you know, he, I think he lives in LA. He, you know, he walks around like nothing, you know, but now that he's with Selena Gomez, I don't think he can just go back to your normal life of just going to a grocery store and stuff, especially if he is going to be with Selena Gomez for real in a relationship, you know, like Travis, he had to go and buy this humongous compound so they can be private because their his old house was not private enough. Now he's in a gated community. I mean, life does change. And my question is like, you know, is Benny Blanco going to be able to support everything that comes with, you know, dating someone as big as and loved as Selena, because it's not only the security aspect, but you have to understand us fans, we are very protective over Miss Selena. So if anything happens, if she has her heart broken even a little bit, oh, you know, we're going to come for him. You know, you know, we're going to come for him and his curly hair and he's not going to know where to fucking hide. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I think that in, you know, and this is this is nothing negative with Selena because obviously like this is her life you know this is what what happens when she goes in and out of hotels it's it's a huge thing you know she can't really just go walk around without it being such a spectacle and I I, I get it it comes with the with the you know with the um, with the job but you know not everybody is equipped to, to change their life like that. So I'm very curious to see how Benny's going to handle this. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, again, you guys, I am so excited for this holiday giveaway. I'm planning on just having like a really like just fun conversation with you guys. You know, you can ask me questions, advice. We can spill some tea. You know, we can sing. Um, I mean, it, the, the possibilities are endless, but we are not having phone sex. Okay, bitch? No, absolute girl. Do you want to know something? Oh my god, I have a little story time, but you guys cannot judge me. You swear. Okay, so when I was when I was younger, like I. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing to me. I don't know if I should say. Okay, I'll say it. I catfished one of my classmates. I catfished one of my classmates, and I I was literally fourteen or something. And I pretended I was a girl that lived in like the other side of the country. And this is so embarrassing, but um, I had a really big crush on him. And somehow I found, you know, his online thingy and we started talking and then we, we we started, you know, on the phone calls and we... I can't, this is so embarrassing, but like, for like a good month, we would talk every night. He thought my name was Ashley or something. <gasps> I used to, cause I used to block my number so he couldn't see who it was. I feel so, like now that I look back, I'm like, I was probably 15. I look back and I'm like, Sebastian like had you gotten caught like had he realized that this was you because his parents were going through a divorce so he was like calm he was like literally like telling me everything and and every every other weekend he would go to his like father's and like I really became like a friend to him and I like I would go to school and him and I were never friends like we never even spoke and we would go, I would go to school and then it would be so weird because I'm like, we literally were on the phone last night for three like hours and you don't know that it's me. Like, holy shit. I just had, you know how like you haven't thought about something in forever? Now, I the way that it ended was 
that he started saying like, how come I don't have your number? How come you're always calling me with a blocked call? Like if, you know, uh, this and that, I think he started getting like really suspicious so that I, I stopped immediately. Cause I was fucking terrified that he would find out it was me. But um, it was, it was, it was very interesting. But you know what, now that I look back, I'm like, you know what, Sebastian? You are there for him, girl, because he when he was in class, he had to act all cool and stuff, and he would never tell anybody about his divorce, about his parents' divorce, and he opened up to Ashley, okay, bitch? So Ashley was actually there for him, all right? Ashley actually got him through the damn divorce. Okay, maybe that's a little too much, but I was there for him, bitch. He even shed a couple tears. So you know what, girl? I do not, I do not regret it, but girl, if he's watching this, I can't. This would be so fucking embarrassing, but he won't. He's not. We were never friends. Like, we never... We ne I think we did, like, one school project together or something, but we never like talked or anything thank god had he fucking found out it was me i would have been toast anyways girl um oh that's a cute little pass blast from the past um anyways what do you guys think let me know in the comments i don't even know what oh yeah betty I, I gotta go bitch anyways don't forget to enter my contest 10 of you guys we will have messy phone calls i would be so excited and grateful to talk to you and all you have to do is go to my community tab follow the follow the three rule uh, steps that's it that's it and then the winners will be announced on the 20th i love you all very much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye